when we talk about balance of payment we basically mean that all the transaction of one country with rest of the world if we tend to simplify this we can say like for example you are a citizen of a particular country obviously you are right now just think that how many money is flowing in your country every year and how many money is flowing out of your country every year so your country is making transaction you're, you're you're doing international trade right so you are, when you're doing international trade either money is coming in your country or money is going out of your country so that's called balance of payment now in balance of payment if money is received it will be credited and it will be known as inflow because the money is coming in in your country right and if money is spent in international trade it will be debited and it will be known as outflow because money is flowing out of your country if you spend if your country is spending on something then that means that the money is going out and if the uh, the country is selling something that means the country is receiving money and it will be credited and it will be considered as inflow because money is coming in if your country is selling something you're getting money and if your country is spending something then your uh, money is outflowing right now if the value is positive balance of payment is surplus and if the value is negative the balance of payment is deficit now what's that so we have talked about inflow and outflow right so when there is inflow that means money is coming in and there is outflow that means money is going out so uh you make the difference all the inflows minus all the outflows so if the outflow is less than inflow then your uh, result will be positive and when it will be positive the balance of payment is surplus if the outflow outweighs the inflow that means that your country is spending more than it's receiving then it will have a negative value so then we'll say that balance of payment is deficit so it's simple right let's move forward there are a few components if we look at the balance of payment it has three components first one is current account what you're going to record in your current account is going to record all the transactions related to purchase or sales of goods or services for example import and output sorry import and export so that means that if your country is making import or export uh, so it's called international trade right import and out, uh, export so these type of transactions where you're selling uh, something or you're uh, buying something so all this uh, related transactions will be recorded in current account now let's move forward to capital account it records any type of transfer of assets from one country to another okay for example people move to a different country along with financial assets so what are the financial assets these are cash stocks bonds mutual funds and bank deposits right or non-financial assets like patents trademarks so transfer of assets right intangible assets uh, so one country is transferring its intangible assets to other countries so these types of transactions will be recorded in your capital account now let's talk about the last component which is financial account any types of foreign direct investment will be recorded in your financial account for example establishing subsidiaries okay if you are investing you're know, like you are the citizen of bangladesh now you are uh, going to invest in india and you invest in uh, somewhere in india and you you build a real estate or any kind of investments uh, you're doing business in india you're investing there so these type of transactions will be uh, recorded in your financial account okay now all these components have different components okay let's talk about those components first let's talk about components of current account there are three components of current account first one you see 
purchase and sales of goods and services so we have already talked about this so it is uh, we gave the example of import and export um, and these types of transactions are recorded in current account now second thing is factory income or payment factory income is earning interest by depositing money in foreign bank okay so you are a citizen of bangladesh if you deposit your money in a bank of india so you're getting uh, what you're getting you're getting interest from indian bank right so money is coming in so that's called factory income so you're, you're earning interest right so it is called factory income when you talk about factor income factor payment so taking loan from foreign country and pay interest that's called factor payment so if you deposit money in a foreign bank you're getting interest but if you take loan uh, from foreign bank you have to pay interest right that's your factor payment okay last but not the least is transfers so what does that mean this is transfer of aids grants uh, donation or any kind of international donations so basically it represents aids or grants and gifts from one country to another so suppose uh, china gives something to india or uh, the world bank donates to the rohingyas of bangladesh or other countries so one country donates and it gives any kind of donation so these are uh, called transfers and these are the components of current account okay now let's talk about the components of financial accounts the three components of financial accounts first one is foreign direct investment so we have already mentioned about this what is foreign direct investments so if you invest something in a foreign country that's called foreign direct investment for example establishing subsidiaries now second one is portfolio investment now portfolio investment means if you invest in stocks or bonds that's called portfolio investment so stocks and bonds are long-term financial assets right and uh, so it actually represents a purchase of foreign financial assets without changing control of a co company okay so if you are a citizen of canada and you are purchasing a stock of a company in india that means you are doing portfolio investment okay and these are long-term financial assets so when you talk about portfolio investment you have to invest in either stocks bonds or any kind of long-term financial assets right so other capital investment is the third component so this is a third com this is the third component of financial account it and it consists of other capital investment which represents transactions involving short term financial assets such as money market securities okay now it can be official reserves uh, official reserves of other countries currency in your country now being a citizen of a particular country uh, you you must know that your country's government or country's national bank they you know keep reserve the other currencies in in their account right so this is called other capital investment so uh us us if us a bank of us give the currency of bangladeshi taka or indian rupee in their reserve fund it will be considered as other capital investments so okay so these are the components of financial account now let's uh, know something interesting here you see in a note that fdi is financial account and interest rate current account what does that mean now if fdi means foreign direct investment if you do foreign direct investment it will be recorded in financial account okay now interestingly if you invest in a foreign country you are uh, getting interest you're paid bank interest right you're investing 
uh, in foreign country and uh, because of that if you are getting interest rate any kind of interest rate you are gaining it it will be recorded in your current account